Hello and welcome to episode three of Travel Geeks. My name's Barney and this is the place where I have to share with you some of the tips and tricks that I've learned about travel, photography and staying productive on the move. It is my hope through this series of videos and through all the content I put out at travelgeeks.co to help educate and inspire you to make your travel more enjoyable. If you like what it is we do and if you'd like to follow me then uh, you can find uh, Travel Geeks on many social platforms. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and of course you can follow us online at travelgeeks.co. That's the website where the content from this website will be. Any of the links and content I'm going to mention you'll be able to find at travelgeeks.co forward slash, uh, forward slash, where's this episode going to be? Productivity we're going to be at travelgeeks.co forward slash productivity. That's where you'll find all the stuff from this episode. Today, um, well, if you thought I was close to home last week, uh, then you can think again. This week, my office is about 10 meters that way. Um, so yeah, really close to home this week. Um, we are, me and Poppy are off to Spain in a few days, uh, actually not shooting a wedding for a change. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to that. Uh, so probably a couple of episodes soon will be coming from Spain. Um, today, like I said, we're going to be talking about productivity and mainly productivity on the move and um, how to be productive on the move. Um, and really for me, that comes down to two main things. Um, and that is uh, streamlining things um, and a diary of what you're going to be doing, whether that be online or offline. Obviously, when you're, you're traveling, um, especially if you're flying or even if you're like on long train somewhere, it's hard to get reliable internet. Uh, and if you can, it's probably really expensive. So in 2016 right now, especially if you're flying, um, you need to be thinking about tasks that you can be doing online and offline. And if you really want to stay productive on the move, um, thinking about what you can and cannot do and when you can do those things. Um, so, like I said, you need to streamline things by getting a routine. Um, for me, a routine means um, the same airport wherever possible, the same airport lounge wherever possible, the same airline wherever possible. Um, I'm thinking, uh, you know, parking in the same place, sitting in the same seat in the plane. Um, you know, you, you can take it to whatever extreme you like uh, with routine and you'll probably be better to judge yourself of how much routine you need to, to get in a productivity state. Um, but for me, it, it is about streamlining and making things the same uh, wherever possible. Um, so yeah, that does come down to, to my preference really, is when I'm in the UK, I'm always flying from the same airport. Nine times out of ten, obviously, if flights don't go, all the days don't work, sometimes you have to slightly change things. Uh, but that is what I like really to be able to do. Um, also, things that really help me, and I've mentioned before, and I will mention again, is um, airport lounges. And, you know, sitting in a comfortable environment, getting some music on. Uh, music and headphones are really important to me for, for staying productive. Whether I'm flying or sat on the plane, or I'm sat in a lounge, or I'm on a train, or um, even if I'm trying to think things through when I'm driving, um, I find uh, music and and, and certain tracks um, really good for that. Um, I'll actually recommend one to you guys. Um, uh, there's an hour long uh, Hans Zimmer playlist that I like. You'll be able to find it on YouTube if you're onto YouTube right now. Perhaps once you finish this video, um, you can uh, go and type in Hans Zimmer one hour uh, soundtrack or something along those lines. Um, and there's some, some great stuff on there. The, the Inception soundtrack is uh, specifically useful, I find. Um, it's an hour, you can play it over and over again, and uh, there's no lyrics, there's nothing to sing along to if you like that, but it, it does allow you to, to, to keep in the mindset and stay productive, and for me, I find that really, really helps. Um, obviously, headphones. One of the most important things that I travel with is, is headphones, and I really couldn't do without them. So, you know, in your hand luggage, whether you like a big over ear set or whether it's small in ears, um, you know, or the new um, the new Apple what are they called AirPods, Apple Pods, something like that um, that have just come out. I haven't got a pair yet, but uh, maybe um, you could tell me if they're any good. Um, so really they're the main things that I find for productivity. It's about streamlining your thing, it's about knowing what you're going to do, whether that be online or offline. I'm actually gonna get onto more of that next week when I'm talking about workflow and more specifically my workflow as a photographer when I'm traveling. Uh, well, I'm not gonna be talking about shooting or anything, but I'm gonna be talking about the workflow that I have when I'm traveling internationally. Um, and because I live a few months of the year outside of the UK and I'm traveling back to the UK a lot, obviously I'm flying quite a bit. Um, so I need to make that time productive and I'm gonna talk in more depth about workflow combined with productivity about how that comes about and how I make that work for me. Um, I think that's about it for this week guys. Obviously we I need to share with you the, the travel hack of this week and the travel hack this week and it's something hopefully I'll talk about more in the future is going to be Trello. Now if you haven't heard of Trello you want to go to Google straight after this video or go to travelgeeks.co where there'll be a link to Trello 
and find out what Trello is for yourself. It is a great tool for managing tasks, for, um, yeah, I mean, I, I use it for all sorts. You can set reminders on it, you can use it, use it as a calendar, you can integrate it with other bits of software. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to Trello. It's not overly complicated. It's actually, in fact, very simple and there are more complex versions of Trello. Um, I think they call it a project management tool, um, you know, a CRM, but it's, it is really good. It's really good and well worth checking out. And I use it for a lot of things. I use it in, the, in my wedding business. I use it for travel geeks. I use it to help organize, um, you know, um, staff and people that I contract work out to. Um, it's it's really useful piece of kit and you should definitely check it out. That's Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O dot com, I believe. Uh, but if you just type Trello into Google, you'll definitely find that. That's my travel hack for this week and you'll find the link for that at travelgeeks.co forward slash productivity. The link's just here and you'll be able to find a link down the bottom of the video along with uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, or maybe that's where you're watching from right now. Guys, if you're not already subscribed to receive these videos and you'd like what I've said today, and maybe you'll go back and check the, the other videos out. Um, if you'd like to receive the next video and all the videos coming after that, then what you need to do is go to explore.travelgeeks.co forward slash sign up. That's explore.travelgeeks.co forward slash sign up again the link is just down here guys um the only other thing to ask from you guys is i'm three episodes in now i'd love to hear some feedback i'd love to know if you found anything useful what specifically that was um, if there's something you think i know something about that i could help cover in the future it'd be great if you could let me know um, also if there's something you guys know that i maybe covered briefly already but not gone into so much depth and something you'd like to know a little bit more about then i'd love to know about that too i've got lots more to share with you guys and next week we're going to be talking about my wedding workflow so that's it for this week um, like i said all the show notes all the links uh, to trello to everything else i've mentioned are going to be uh, on the website at travelgeeks.co forward slash productivity you head there after this you'll find all that stuff Thanks very much, guys. Look forward to seeing you next week.